Introduction to Trigonometric Ratios. So we saw in the last video that if you take two sides in a right angle triangle, the values are the same no matter how big or small the triangle is if the angles are the same. And to generalize this, we're going to need to learn how we can name our sides, because I was calling them base and height, but there's a better way to name them. Let's have a look at a right angle triangle. Well, we already have a name for the side opposite the right angle. That's always called the hypotenuse. Now, to name sides, we need to reference it with another angle. So let's label this angle as theta. And theta is a Greek letter in the alphabet, which we use to talk about angles that we don't know. The side opposite the angle we're talking about has a very creative name called the opposite. And the side next to the angle we're talking about is called the adjacent. So let's draw up another triangle, or the same triangle. This time, let's put theta up here. Well, this is still the hypotenuse, because it's opposite the right angle. But this time, the side opposite theta is this one over here. So this one becomes the opposite, which means that this one has to be the adjacent. And adjacent just means next to, and it's next to the angle we're referencing. But it can't be the hypotenuse because that already has its own name. So in the last video, we saw in a 30 degree, 60 degree right angle triangle that when we took this side, so we're going to use 30 as our reference, which means that this side is the opposite, this side is the hypotenuse, and this side is the adjacent. So yeah, we saw in the last video that when you take the opposite side and divide it by the hypotenuse, we got a half. And that's when we're referencing this angle of 30 degrees. So on your calculator, you might have seen by in sine, cos, and tan, and here we're going to look at them for the first time. When we take the opposite divided by the hypotenuse, another way we can write that is by writing sine of the angle we're referencing. And because this side was the opposite to this angle, the hypotenuse doesn't matter which angle you're referencing, but this one was opposite this angle, it's going to be what sine 30 is. So that's just another way to write opposite over hypotenuse. And if you go ahead and put sine 30 on your calculator, you'll find that you do get a half. So sine 30, sine of an angle is just a way to reference when you divide the opposite side by the hypotenuse. So let's learn a few more. So now we know that sine of some angle, all it is, is the ratio of the opposite and the hypotenuse. Cos of an angle equals the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. And tan of an angle equals the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So remember, in our last video, we saw that sine the opposite over the hypotenuse was a half, and if you put sine 30 in calculator, you would get a half. If you put cos 30, you'll get 0 
And that matches up with the ratios we had when we divided the adjacent side by the hypotenuse in the last video. And tan 30 equals 0 0.577, which also matches up to what we had in the last video when we divided that opposite side by the adjacent side. There's a trick to remembering all of these, and it's with an anagram. So, ka, toa. Where this S stands for sine, the O stands for hypotenuse, H stands for, sorry, O stands for opposite, H stands for hypotenuse, C for cos, A for adjacent, H for hypotenuse, T for tan, O for opposite, and A for adjacent. You just got to remember that you need to divide these two, these two, and these two. You need to remember how to spell it. Thank you.